Hello all dinosaurs and dance safarians. Today we have plenty of new sea animals. I'm super excited. Let's open up one of them. Let's open up every single one of them to be exact. Let's see what is this, okay? Wow, this looks like a crab. And what type of crab is this? Let's take a look at this. Let's get this out from the box. I mean the pack. And um, what is this exactly? A king crab. Let me just see whether there are some facts about this. Um, I don't think so, but you can see this crab looks pretty amazing. It has a very rough shell. Um, plenty of legs, one, two, three, four. Four legs, two little fillers, and the entire shell covering is like um, filled with like little rough edges. Very cool looking crab, definitely. And it's, the name is written right over here, King Crab. This is our very first King Crab um, in our collection. Let me just remove this since it has no facts, so it's it's better for us to remove it. Next up, let's take a look at this. Wow, looks like a lobster. So let's open this up and have a look. Looks like a lobster. Wow, with two beautiful huge pencils. I'm gonna cut this loose with a pair of scissors. All right, be really careful not to cut off the sea animal. Let's take a look at this. And it's being filled with all this little, oh, it comes with a little fact sheet. This is actually a lobster. Lobsters are 10-legged crustaceans closely related to shrimp and crabs. They have poor eyesight but highly developed sense of taste and smell. Wow, that's really awesome. And you can see this figure looks really realistic. It looks like an actual lobster, although it's not very big. You can see it has two huge pencils. One, two, three, four, four other smaller legs right over here. And you can see the entire figure. Wow, a really beautiful figure, I must say. Looks really realistic. All right, let's take a look at um, another new sea animal that we have just purchased. Let's take a look at this. Let's open this up. It seems like a whale. And what type of whale is this? Let's see. I think this is actually known as a pygmy sperm whale. I'm not too sure whether there are any facts about this creature right over here. I don't think so. But I think that is fine. It's a really beautiful... You can actually find out more facts about this beautiful sea animal right over here. Pygmy Sperm Whale, a 2014 figure. My first ever Pygmy Sperm Whale figure. Okay, let's have a look at more new figures. This is a smaller one, very small one. In fact, let's open this up and have a look. What is this exactly? Let's see. Let's get this up from... Uh... Oh, it, it is actually from Safari LTD, so... I think it definitely should have um, some facts. There are over 3,000 known species of nudie brunch. Yes, and this is actually known as a nudie brunch. I think it looks like a sea, sea snail to me. Never seen um, this sea animal before at all. I've never seen it in the aquariums. I've never seen this before at all. So let's put this tag back so that we can um, we can still read about this in future. I think that'll be really nice. Okay, a nudie brunch. My first ever nudie brunch um, figure. We are expanding our sea animals collection every single day. So yeah, and this is also another new figure that we have just purchased recent recently. Okay, this is a sea lion. Okay, sea lion. They can they can be pretty aggressive as well. Okay, let's have a look at, um, oh, this is actually an animal, it's not supposed to be in this um, box. So let's take a look at what is inside this pack. It seems like a huge fish, a silver fish. Let's see, what is this exactly? Let's get this out of the pack. Let's get this loose. Let's get it out. It looks like a salmon, I'm not, not too sure, or a piranha. Oh, this I think is a um, prehistoric fish. Cephatinus. Cephatinus. Wow, looks super cool. 
an amazing looking fish. It has a very silverish um, appearance. It's shiny, you can see the scales like just glowing. It's really beautiful and it has very sharp teeth. And um, by looking at the name, I think this should be a prehistoric fish. Cephactinus, Cephactinus, yep, that's right. Beautiful one, my first ever Cephactinus figure. Okay, uh, maybe let's just open this kangaroo. Let's just open this kangaroo, although it's not a sea animal. But you know, this is a new figure. This is actually like a giant kangaroo, a red kangaroo. You can see the arms are extremely, extremely strong. You can see the muscles on this uh, kangaroo. They are very, very, very strong animals, okay? Next up, let's take a look at this flying fish right here. So you can see this is a flying fish. They use their wing-like fins to glide above the ocean's surface. Okay, so this is the flying fish. Next up, another crust crustacean. Okay, a red lobster. So let's see. The lobster's hard shell provides excellent protection against hungry predators. You can see it has like two huge pincers and four smaller um, legs right over here. This one is actually glued to this. I'm not too sure whether, whether that is on purpose, but I think so. Really beautiful crustacean. So many of these are actually new purchases. This koi fish is basically purchased last week. Yeah, so koi fish, amazing sea animals. I mean, amazing fish. They can live up to like 100 years, some of them. Radius Slider, have you guys seen my um, shots, my YouTube shots of my three red ear sliders? I think they are really adorable. My red ear slider is only this small, but I think very soon they'll be growing up to like the size of this really soon in a couple of months time i guess this one looks like a grouper i'm not too sure or is it a, a bass let's see a goliath grouper right here so some of them can actually grow up to like eight feet long yes really really big fish this is also a brand new figure that we've just purchased this one right here, it should be a salmon if I'm not wrong. Yes, that's right, salmon. A lot of people use them for food and this figure was also purchased last week. Most salmon are anadromous, living in the sea and returning to fresh water to spawn. Very nice figure. And um, a blue shark, yes. So this is actually known as a blue shark. So you can see the name is written right over here, blue shark. Also a brand new figure, but I have purchased plenty of new sea animals to expand our collection. And um, this blue shark, the colors actually helps it to camouflage, you know, in the deep waters. What is this? I don't have much facts about this ladderback sea turtle, but I, all I can tell you is that I really love turtles. I think they are really adorable animals. Mega mouth shark, another sea creature that lives in the very very deep um, um, ocean waters you can see um, it's one of the, those very rare sharks that you can find it's not easy to spot a mega mouth shark ichthyosaurus is actually a prehistoric marine reptile not exactly like a um, modern day sea animal blue crab yes take a look at this Two huge pencils and one, two, three, four, four legs behind. Um, it's known as a blue crab right over here. And let's see some facts about this. A blue crab has teeth and a stomach much like other crabs. So the, basically the teeth are around here, I guess. Okay. Blue marble ray, I think blue spotted ray, not blue marble, blue spotted ray, really beautiful. I really love this figure because it has this really soft um soft it's made from very soft material and it, it has a very shiny texture so i really love this a lot okay next up we have a blue tang okay blue tang really adorable i think you can actually find this in like finding nemo um movie if i'm not wrong um blue tangs can adjust the intensity of the color some can be light while some others can be dark Interesting, very interesting. Another new figure that we have just purchased. This is actually a sawfish. 
So it's basically use this um, saw light tool to capture its prey. Really interesting, you can see. This part actually reminds me of a stingray. A 1994 figure. So this figure is super old. So old. Yeah. The sawfish uses its long snout armed with sharp points as a hunting tool. And um, this is a large mouth bass. Right over here you can see this fish with the mouth wide open. You can even see the interior of the mouth which is painted with like shiny um, paint. And the entire texture of it is like glistening as well. Large mouth bass. Let's take a look at this. Large mouths can reach 20 pounds but a 5 pound fish is considered large. A sea turtle. I think this is just known as a normal sea turtle. Okay, sea turtle. Really beautiful, I love turtles. All right, let's see what else we've got. This should be a white tip reef shark. So let's take a look at this. It's written right here. White tip reef shark, beautiful. Unlike most sharks, this species does not need to constantly swim to breathe. So really interesting shark. And um, this should be a short fin mako shark. You can see the body. It's very, very like aerodynamic looking. The snout of this is like super sharp. This type of shark can swim really, really fast. Um, right here, I think this is known as a um, zebra shark, if I'm not wrong. Let's see, let's take a look. Leopard shark, I beg your pardon. And let's see, what are some facts? The black spots on the leopard shark's body help it to camouflage. So basically, these patterns on his body helps it to camouflage, you know, you know, among the plants, I guess. This it's a hump back wheel. So you can see there's a little hump over here. You can see plenty of bumps across the entire wheel. Okay, so let's see what are some facts about this. Hornbacks were hunted extensively and they remain endangered. So this beautiful sea animals, they're actually endangered. And this one should be a manatee, okay? This should be a nurse shark. You can see this, you can recognize this with this two little, I don't, I don't think we, could, we should call them fillers, but they do look like fillers to me. Okay, nurse shark. And um, this is a bonnet head shark, which is quite you know, closely related to um, the hammerhead shark, bonnet head shark. And um, this should be bamboo shark, I mean, the patterns on his body. They do resemble the patterns on a bamboo, bamboo plant, the stripes. And this is a black tip reef shark, which is um, a figure that we have got not too long ago. So, yep, I have um, shown you guys some new figures that we have purchased. Super happy with this crab, king crab. Looks really beautiful. What are the, what are the other new um, um, sea animals? This, what is this called again? Sifactinus, okay. Uh, we've got another pygmy sperm whale. So interesting one. You also got this little lobster right here. Yeah, a lobster deluxe and you can see this. This. It's basically so beautiful, it looks so realistic. Uh, yeah, I think basically that's about it. Yeah. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, please give it a thumbs up, share it, drop me a comment, and I will try to reply to you, okay? Thanks for watching this, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.